Right. It's about half past 1485. I'm heading for a little tavern on Fleet Street called The Kingmaker to do a little detective work. Someone once told me it can be a useful place to find out all sorts of stuff. You can't miss it, just uh, head for St Paul's Cathedral. Uh, the old Norman one, not the one with the dome. That's not there yet. Uh, I'll meet you there in three hours' time. And don't be late. Greetings, Earl Rivers. I greet you in the name of the new king. And greetings to you, Lords Gloucester and Buckingham. Well, what can I say? This is a most lovely surprise. Good evening, sir. I am Susan, and I will be your serving wench for this evening. Would you like to sit in carousing or non-carousing? Ha <laughs> ha! Less of the Mr. Clary, Doctor. They'll start to think me a gentleman. Don't stand on ceremony, Doctor. Folks call me one-armed Clary, don't they, boys? Um, Perry... Is it a custom of this age for a man to place a hand on your bottom as a form of greeting? Not really, no. Aramem, did you just break that guy's arm? Yes. For your information, sir, this is my travelling machine, my magic cabinet that takes me to places beyond your imagination. So you're a demon, are you? Uh, that depends. Do they burn individuals that show sign of devilry in this century? Yes. Well, in that case, I am a wise and benevolent sorcerer. He's some kind of robot. His arms are soft. He seems real from this end. Oh, my God, this bit's detachable. He's not real. Sure you're all right. We're fine. We're fine. We've got to get out of here. There's something nasty and alien happening here. We have to find the doctor. Well, he did come out of this thing, sire, the like of which I have never seen before. And they do say that unusual portents crop up at the time of a coronation. Who says? Well, they do. The ones who do say. You know, they who do say. Well, as long as we're being specific. You think I'm capable of killing a couple of kids? Murdering them in cold blood? Snuffing out a couple of young lives before they'd even begun? Do you know what this means, Perry? It means we're not going to change history. We are history. We're part of it. It's not possible. I think we have solved the mystery. It's us, Perry. It is we who kill the princes in the tower. Sometimes, Aramem, your ability to point out the flaws in my otherwise perfect plans errs on the irritating. Doctor Who, you have transgressed your deadline. Your contract has been violated. Now that's just what I thought you'd say. <laughs> <laughs>